Hello, welcome back. This is the Spirit Manga 187. Welcome back for another match of Shadow Era. We have 260 rating points now, so we've won some matches. Played like three or four that I recorded, and I played like two or three on my phone, and it has all been wins so far. So so far so good for Zalada. Let's give our opponent the high. Have fun. And he's coming in with a Christopher Wild here, so he's a pretty quick startup. So what we are going to do, we are going to sacrifice this one because we don't need it against Amber Rain. But after all, pretty nice card for four resources, two six. So even if your opponent doesn't use her ability that affects your allies, it's still mm, pretty nice to drop up. I have better cards in my hand at this point of the game to drop for four resources. So. We're just going to sacrifice them both for resources. So this card that he dropped here, let's just take a look at it. Because I does not I do not know what it does. When attacked by a hero, defender. If turn it up into its owner's hands. Why the hell would you play that card? Because if you attack it, you just take the, back your weapon. So you attack all the other allies first, or the hero, and then if you attack that ally over there you just bounce it back so you get uh, all your uh, durability points back so that's another good card I think okay he's going to buff them up with one attack so he's going to deal some more damage so lots of damage in the early game here and what are we going to drop down we are going to sacrifice our Ironite Garage and we're going to destroy the Christopher Wild. Yep, let's just take it out. Sorry, what he really needs now is a Blood Frenzy, I think. Because he has dealt some damage, like 4 damage, destroyed one of my allies. But he has low cards now. Not enough cards in his hand. So a Blood Frenzy would really be the best play now. But here comes an Elden the Brave, that's also pretty nice. Dealing lots of damage. So this sucks because I cannot play any of these allies now. So what are we going to do here? We are going to sacrifice this one. We are going to use our ability on the both of them. And what are we going to play? We are going to cast a shadow farm. So just letting him know that we can use our ability one more turn. So here comes his high good luck. A little bit late, but doesn't matter. <laughs> so yeah, the Saladar is, uh, is playing pretty nice, but uh, as I told already, every turn I need them to really use all of my cards to, to take down the opponent. So here comes a Blood Frenzy on this side. Oh, these are all pretty good cards. And I all want to keep them. But I have to sacrifice them. Well, he has none weapon, but I think he has 4 Julius Dream left in that deck. But I really want to keep... Uh, let's just get rid of this. Playing our armor. And we're going to use it on this blood frenzy. Well, I have low life, but I don't want him to draw any more cards. So, and this is going to prevent some damage as well. So, let's just play it. We got a infinity core in hand as well. So, and it's going to prevent like two damage from him. And let's hope he's not going to drop anything scary, like a Judas Dream or something. Here comes to damage, taking me down to 18. Okay, these are nice cards. So let's just um, skip or we're gonna skip or sacrifice. We're gonna destroy the war banner. It's called that. And play our wolf to draw some cards. Some additional cards. Because I already have a blood frenzy. And I would like to see that Alden die next to him. 
that should be really nice then I have full control and then I can just play the infinity core and regain my strength and anti gain but it's not that easy I think because he has some cards in his hand I think a crippling blow a layer in Seductress that sucks, more allies in play well wow, this is nice um, I hate to sacrifice this but I want to play the dead mage and the garage so let's just do that kill the Alden make him lose one strength and play the garage and we'll just end turn here so let's see what he's going to play this turn I'm your follower on Twitter. Ah. He check on me. So he follows me on Twitter. I have someone following me. A guy from Japan. He's always retweeting my videos. So that's real nice. Uh, let's just tell him. that I'm recording it uh, his English isn't very good as he told me before well mine's not too good either because both of us uh, I'm from the, the Netherlands and he's from Japan so and there he comes with some more damage and a crippling blow Okay, let's see what we have here. Well, 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 that's nice. Um, well, well, what to do? We can take them both out. But we can also play this one. Um, what are we going to do? We have to damage the Alden. I think this is the best choice. And use our ability on him. And play this Fury and Terror. Destroying my own garage, but taking board control. What are the odds? I think you just typed it like that. But I think he doesn't understand me after all. But yeah, and there comes another Blood Frenzy. We'll just draw two cards. Well, we have pretty much nice board control here, so I'm not going to sacrifice anything. I'm going to play the Infinity Core, the Iron Knight Garage, and attack him. So I think he's playing uh, almost the same cards that I played on my Amber Rain deck. So that's really nice. But I am winning here with Zeladar. Uh, he's, he can still win, but. I don't. I would not know what he will, could draw to during these tables. So I didn't play Christopher Wild. I played it before I started recording videos for YouTube. But yeah, I don't like them as much as I thought I would. Because yeah, they dealt some damage pretty quick, but you lose one resources and they almost always die in turn 2 or 3 and let's get rid of the Morbid Acolyte use this ability to shuffle back a you know, let's just shuffle back a Crush retrieve some health dealing him some damage and some more with a few in Terra yeah, I think this one is game and another from the garage and this one uh, I'm at 260 at the moment Maybe. so next turn he is dead I guess or he has to draw through crippling blows or something like that I can need him 4, 6, 7, 8, 8 damage. Oh no, he's not dead yet. 
maybe if you drop something big there's a champion of era uh, my turn well let's just skip it play this man control and this champion of era taking him down to 8 Well, we are going to damage him, of course. Turn 6. 5, 4. So next turn he's going to 3 life and I can use my ability. <laughs> yeah. That sucks if you don't draw. Jewelers. Uh, Jewelers. Jewelers Green. Yeah, that I found out that as well. If you draw a Jewelers Green or a Blood Frenzy, you're pretty much doomed. And you play like four of them in your deck, four of each. There's 19 cards left. 19 cards left. So it really sucks that he doesn't draw it. But as you can see again, I'm at pretty low health again. 11 health, so I really need to do everything I can against this guy to, uh, to crush him. And he really had some bad draws, but yeah, we're still doing good with uh, these Aladar, so let's just finish him off. There he goes, another win for Zelda. So I hope you like this match and yeah, do not forget to like, subscribe and comment and we are gaining back some rating and we are still trying to get to 270 rating and marching on to the 300 rating with this Zaladar. So yeah, we'll see you next match guys and again with Zaladar. Cheers!